much more money than Freeze could afford. Freeze would end up leaving his teaching job to dedicate most of his time to taking care of Nora, along with trying to find a high paying job that would allow Freeze to pay for Nora's treatment, going to companies like Wayne Tech, Star Labs, then LexCorp, all refusing to help, until he was finally accepted at a company called GothCorp, as Freeze would describe it to be a soulless, life-crushing entity. Sounds similar to another company I used to work for. The company was run by a man named Ferris Boyle. Ferris Boyle, the best way I could describe the guy, would basically be like you saying a funny and original joke, but no one heard you, and then Ferris would be that guy that'd say it again, just louder, and get a big laugh, leaving you kind of just there in the room to reflect on your life. Ferris Boyle is basically just a guy that steals ideas and makes tons of money off of them, and gives no credit to the actual people that made them. And after working at the company for a spell, and letting Ferris take credit for tons of Frieza's inventions, Frieza would develop a cryochamber that once entered would leave the person in suspended animation till modern medicine would be able to provide a cure for any disease. This to me sounds like an amazing idea with tons of applications that had saved millions of lives including his own wife, but all Ferris Boyle ever cared for was how much money he could rack up from cutting corners, leading Ferris to cut Frieza's project before it could even take off. With Nora's condition growing worse and Frieza unable to keep up financially for her treatments, Frieza felt like there was no other option left than to preserve her in the abandoned cryochamber project. Thus, Freeze snuck Nora into Gothcorp, nearly getting caught by security, said his farewells to Nora, and dunked her into the cryochamber. And after doing all of this, Freeze felt a calm wave wash over him, like he could finally breathe and not have to worry about the impending doom of losing his wife. He could finally get sleep and think clearly on how to save his wife. Until about a month and a half later, Ferris Boyle got the bill and found out Freeze had kept the project running even after Ferris ordered it shut down. Sending security down to shut down the project, Freeze would beg Ferris to keep the chamber on to keep his wife alive, but he'd refuse to listen, saying to Freeze that she looks dead already. 